This is a remarkable film of the underwater landslide and tsunami at Valdez, Alaska, taken during the 1964 earthquake. It has never been seen before in its correct sequence. This is its story, and there is still a mystery. The steamship China arrived in Valdez the afternoon of March 27, 1964. It was the first ship to bring supplies since the fall. The ship was tied up to a dock for just an hour and 19 minutes before the 1964 Great Alaska Earthquake. Two crewmen on the China, Fred Neumair and Ernest Nelson, had an 8mm movie camera. They recorded life in Valdez and were on board the China and filming during the magnitude 9.2 Great Alaska Earthquake. A large underwater landslide destroyed the Valdez waterfront, caused a tsunami, and killed 32 people as a result of the earthquake. Neumair and Nelson's film made it into a 1964 movie, Though the Earth Be Moved, by the Department of Defense, Office of Civil Defense. However, the movie makers took their footage and cinematic liberties, cut it up, and added some extra unrelated pieces for dramatic flair, and then mixed up the order. This is precious footage. There is no other film that we are aware of that shows the formation of a large submarine landslide in a fjord. It helps scientists understand the origin of these processes. From a human perspective, it is also valuable in that it helps us understand how people respond to earthquakes. However, this footage may be upsetting due to its depiction of natural forces and the deaths that occurred because of this event. We took the footage, cut it into pieces, and then rearranged it in what we believe to be the original order. In this video, we show the revised film three times, once without interpretation, another time slowed down with some freeze frames labeled to show what is seen, and lastly again without interpretation. We also recognize that this 48 seconds of film is incomplete, and we do not know where the original uncut version is. This is the mystery. Here is the newly reorganized film. Here we show what features are in the blurry film at half speed.
and again the resequenced film Normal Speed Without Labels. If you have any information on the whereabouts of the original film, we would appreciate any leads. We hope to use the understanding of how the landslide developed to recognize the potential for similar landslides elsewhere with the aim of reducing future loss of life and property.